Yo, what up YouTube? What up, what up, what up? Just got back from the gym, you guys. I'm not trying to freaking show my muscles or anything. It's just my my shirt is raining, plus I was I was drenched from the gym, so I was hella cold. Uh, but I wanted to just give some updates, record a few things, man. Listen, uh, my targeting, my targeting, you guys, is, is over. You could defeat your targeting, all right? But it com that comes through Christ, you, and, and, and it's something that you got to want. And to be to iterate this very clearly, what I've learned about targeting, it has nothing to do with your own personal efforts in regards to what you can do for yourself because you can't do it. I'm going to just save you some time. You cannot do it. All right. One of the things that would delay you from getting delivered for me, like being analytical, my heart was in the right place. I wanted to, you know, get closer to God. I wanted to be delivered. Um, and I was putting in the effort of work. I was changing things around. And I was thinking, like, if I do it this way or that way, you guys, I wasted, you know, over 10 years trying to get every step right. <laughs> One of the biggest problems I see with Christians is Christians are more, more concerned with, they are more concerned with being right than being righteous. And what I mean by that is they'll go in, they'll look like the command laws and statues and try to follow those to the T. And then they'll try to say that they're actually doing it. No, you're not. If you were able to do it, then Christ wouldn't have left paradise to come down here to save you. All right. Some of y'all are hard headed like me. You, you have to learn the slow way. All right. Because it's too hard to believe that the Lord will just save you out of all of your mess. Uh, it's too hard for people to believe that. And me, I grew up a Christian, man. So. It really has nothing to do with you, you guys. You know, this ascension and everything like that, all of that is hogwash, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not knocking, I know I bring up crystals a lot. I'm not knocking anyone that use crystals are cool as fuck, dude. I'm not gonna lie, man. There was a time I crossed over and and, and I kid you not, the city of God is literally like, I, I didn't go inside, but the entrance of it, it's a mountain of crystals, all right? There was lightning that was sprawling across the sky, like crawling across the sky, and we were in space, and um, I could not see any angelic forms or see the Lord, but I could hear him, though, all right? The crystals were iridescent and shining, different colors with reflections and refractions of light from the lightning in the sky and the aurora borealis, if you ever seen the northern lights. That's what it was like. It was insanely beautiful, all right? But I was told I had to come back, come back here, okay? And uh, I had to deal with a whole bunch of uh, gang stalking and what have you. Listen, your gang stalking in shortcut, it's not about you or what you're doing. It's about if God has shown grace or has mercy on you for whatever reason. Anytime the Holy Spirit is around you, them spirits will come to attack that because the Holy Spirit is light and spirits work in darkness, right? That's why you're able to see everything that you see. It's not because your vision got better or you've gotten more aware or you're this or that. You know this type of training. You ain't nothing, man. It is the Holy Spirit. And until you give it all to God and realize that it's all him, man, you're going to be stuck in that same predicament. The second thing is you got to believe, bro. Any of y'all out there, man, y'all got to believe, man. You got to believe in God because it takes faith to please God. And if you don't believe God... You know, you got to realize God has nothing to prove to you, right? We're a speck of dust, if that. That's it. Look how big the ocean is. Look how big outer space is. Look at all the creatures and animals and human beings and the different dimensions and all the things that are created. And, 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 and human beings are the only one. Human beings are the only ones that predominantly think that they're something. And I'll tell you, that's one reason why other creatures, serpents, or what have you, that's why there will be enmity there. People got to learn to have a humble spirit, man. And um, I uh, watched some of Targeted Tony's videos. Uh, Targeted Tony from Los Angeles, man. Uh, I will say this, man. Um, I'm really sorry for what you're going through, man. Uh, 
targeting sucks. I know you showed your dog today, and I'm not gonna front. That touched me, man. And I sent up, a, I sent up a prayer for you. So some of your targeting should, should should break down. Your targeting should break down dramatically, man. Right? It can't be perfect because it's a you got to have a relationship with God. I heard you mention God. Hopefully you have Christ. Hopefully it's the right one. But dude, it should break down dramatically. They definitely will not be messing with your dog. That that's one thing I could say. All right. So your dog should be able to heal, man. And, and, and you give thanks to God for that because God God took care of that for you, man. Trust me, I see things in the spirit. All right. So do that, man, and just and, and just stay with the most high. I know some of you guys talked to this dude named uh uh Nerve Nerve Gorilla or whatever. You guys, I listened to some of his chats, his responses to uh Broken Matrix. I mean, some of his ways of thinking is convoluted and misrepresented, but I think it's hilarious. And uh, I just want you guys to know that uh, this is a dude that doesn't understand where you're coming from, but is trying to understand. That's why he's taking the time. Your other perps, your other perps they don't take the time and they don't care. So what he's going to give you is rational answers as to why he believes your life is going in that way. And the quickest way to conclude this is mental illness. But a lot of times when you're getting delivered, you guys, mental illness is a type of sign that it would appear like. Remember, perception is a thing. And because he doesn't recognize spiritual things, okay, he's not going to be able to understand what you're, what you're talking about. All right. But he seems to be genuine and honest. I don't think he's really nabbing anybody. He's just trying to understand. When you, That's what I was talking about. You got to be careful what you put out when you talk about like it's the government or the police or the CIA when you talk about these things that's why I said you guys are struggling to understand that it's fully spiritual if you do not understand that you're going to attract more attention than you want right and then you're going to come off as mentally ill because there's no way for you to prove spiritual things it's written in scripture right it is it is foolish to to explain spiritual things to a carnal man he doesn't he doesn't deal with spiritual things all right. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't have, you know what I'm saying, a good heart. Right now, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I think it's hilarious, dude. You know, between him and Broken Matrix. As far as Broken Matrix, l let me tell you something, man. You know, I'm not sure what the deal is with VoIP. There's always a way to hack into your computer, irregardless of what he says. And he sounds like he's you know, pretty good with the internet and a tech professional. So I'm just breaking this down from a rational standpoint. If he is giving you technical advice of what things could particularly be with the computer, you could see how he would have an invested interest. All right. He has a concealed carry license and what have you. And that's not to threaten anybody, but this is a person that believes in our freedoms pertaining to uh, our rights regarding the internet and what have you. It's one of the, the the best free platform sources that we have. So he's looking to litigate and understand where you guys are coming from. And especially when you bring in all this government thing, you got to understand, you know, you don't know what people got going on in their own personal life. So when you bring up targeting things like that and it pricks their ear, of course, they're going to want to understand what you're talking about. Like, is this some legal thing? Because this is a dude that's proactive, man. You know, one, one thing that I really admire about him is the fact that he will investigate a matter. He's not some coward dude that's going to run away from a situation. And, um, you know, it's just funny. This, is, this goes back to my point and what I was explaining about perception. And I forget what entry it was, but he doesn't have the same perception as you do. And for you, your perception is a thousand percent real. But he has no experience of it. So <clears throat> it's going to come off as mental illness to him because it's going to sound like madness. It's written in scripture. The things you will say to those who are carnally minded will sound as madness to them. So you first, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have a conversation is to reason out the grounds of how this is not a legitimate issue that's typical. And that's as far as it could go. He's not going to understand the spiritual part, but that would at least absolve his concerns as far as it being something technical or the CIA intruding on uh, people's freedoms in this country. 
because he's, you know, he's pretty straightforward and about that, man. Uh, I watched some of his topics. You know, he's got the cool old school Netscape uh, icon. But you guys, I don't think he's a bad guy, man. I really don't, man. And um, if you cannot forgive your brother for whatever thing, like uh, uh, New Breed. And I don't know what's going on with y'all, New Breed and all this other shit, man. And I understand, man. I know, like, brothers try to reach out and have peace and everything. But, yo, if people cannot get along together, man, irregardless, you got bigger battles to face, you know? And if if we cannot agree to disagree or come to some commonality to where we could get along or at least ignore the issue without throwing up beef and stuff online, if you're a target, let me tell you something. You don't want to attract more attention to yourself than you have to, Right? It's just one of those things, man. But, uh, hey, man, I love all y'all, man. Peace and blessings be with y'all. All. And, uh, you know, really the situation with, uh, what, Nerve nerve Gorilla, it just deals with perception. That's all I've seen. The facts that he's bringing forth from his point of view is legitimate. And the things that you're saying don't make sense to him because he has a technical background. This dude is tech savvy. He knows. And I know what it's like to be technical because I'm technical with psychology. But he is as as far as, you know, technology, the Internet and what have you. He's savvy in that. So when arguments are presented that don't make sense where no technical resolve or resolution has been attempted to be made. And all of a sudden it just snowballs into this targeting thing. That's why I said you guys. You have to understand you have to be able to discern things from other things and recognize what's spiritual and reality, you know, and that does pertain to a type of mental illness, just not one diagnosed here on this earth. The closest they're going to come up, uh, up with is schizophrenia. That's what it is. But even though he believes it to be that, look how he continues to try to understand. He is not perping you. He is not stalking you. All right. He's just trying to understand. If anything, this would be a dude that would be on your side more than he would be against it. Now, some of his <laughs> viewpoints from his irrationality, he may come off like Trump. You know, it may come off kind of pompous or arrogant because, dude, he doesn't know he's going to be rough. That's what I mean, carnally minded. It means like it's going to be beastly or animal animalistic how he handles a matter, not because he's being animalistic. He just fundamentally does not understand what you're talking about. <laughs> So I say that with love, man. Peace and blessings be with you all. Targeted Tony, uh, your targeting situation should, should d d you know, depreciate quite significantly. And definitely your dog won't be messed with. All right. Uh, I say this with love, you guys. Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm out.